What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your boy Calvin Reed. Uh, thank you again. I know I started out like this all the time, but thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. Uh, if you're new to this channel, if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button, uh, make sure you click on that bell, switch it over to all so that way, whenever I put out my videos, you get notified about it. You can go in and click on them and watch them and enjoy in this good old laughter and hopefully learn something from what I put out on this channel. Uh, also, if you like the video, please hit that like button, smash that button, leave me some comments down below and uh, let me know what else y'all want to see and I will try to get that out for you. Uh, today's video is sponsored by none other than Monster Bass. What is Monster Bass? Monster Bass is a monthly subscription where they send you fishing lures. Now, there are other companies out there that do the same thing that are also monthly subscription uh, bait companies. What sets Monster Bass apart from some of those other companies, Monster Bass is a regional base. What I mean by that, they have a map and they have it broken up into regions. You select the region that you live in or the regions that you like to fish and when they send you your lures they will send you a box of lures uh, they'll send you a box of lures that are tailored for the area that you fish what I mean by that is down here in the south where I live uh, it's winter so water is getting cold and the temperature all around is getting cold Unless you're in Arkansas, and Arkansas can't make up its mind on what their weather wants to be. But anyways, the weather is cold, water is getting cold, so we're going to pick lures that are more designed for what the bass are doing in your area. Their metabolism is slowing down, so we're, we're giving out baits that are more for a slower uh, presentation. Uh, the bait fish are probably a little bit smaller. Uh, the shad are dying off, so they're they're giving out lures that would imitate that dying shad. So that's how monster bass is different. And they also they only send out the lures that should help you in your area. Like uh, down in the Florida area, they still of course have their nice weather. It's still kind of warm, so top water lures will probably still be working for Florida. But that's not going to work very well up here in Arkansas where I'm at. Just like uh, the northern areas, they're probably already experiencing some ice on their lakes, which Monster Bass has you guys covered. They do have a box uh, designed for ice fishing, so jump over to their website and check that out. But whatever lure is working in the northern region, on the west coast or the east coast, might not work in the south. So we're not going to give you lures for any of those other regions, because they're not going to help you. So that's how Monster Bass is a little bit different than all the other companies. Theirs is a little bit more regional based. So I'll leave the link down below. You can click on that whether you want a bass fishing box, you want a pan fishing box, or you want the ice fishing box. Click on what kind of box you want. Get your monthly subscription. Uh, if you click on my link, you can save you, I believe it's $10.00 off your first purchase. Also, I believe we're still using the code SAVE10 that'll also save you $10 off. So, click that link that'll be down there and oh my goodness, what was that? Click on the link down there in the description box and get started on your Monster Bass fishing. Now, let's jump into this month's Monster Bass. Uh, for a while, Monster Bass was sending out the reusable uh, bags. There's so many different names for them, but Basically, you get a bag and you can reuse it. It has a little spot on there with the label, so you can write in there what you're using, uh, what all you're putting in those bags. But we ran out, so we went back to doing the boxes, but I'm pretty sure as soon as those bags are back in stock and they're able to start sending out the monthly subscriptions in the bags, they'll start doing that again. But we're going to jump into this. Just like the old boxes, when you open it up, the box unfolds. You have a ruler right here so you can measure your fish. You also have the different calendar seasons, so that way you can see what you're doing. Uh, like I stated before, 
winter time, so water temperatures is probably about 45 and below. Uh, let's see here. Early winter, lures should mimic dying shad, so uh, spoons, crankbaits, jigs, dragging them on the bottom, stuff like that. A lot of good information right here. Also, if you jump on to the Monster Bass channel, a lot of the guys on there give out good tips on how to use these baits as well as how they like to use them. So, let's jump into this. Okay, I got to dig underneath here to get to all the goody goodies, the information stuff. This month, uh, if you haven't seen my, my Instagram post, uh, you can find me Instagram at Outdoors with Creed, and I said that Monster Bass has been taken over by Lunker Hunt. So this month, Lunker Hunt sticker. Uh, we have this card here, promo code, where you can get you some Lunker Hunt lures, just using that code right there, as well as the golden ticket that we still do out when Rick goes on live. Uh, every Thursday at 7 p.m. and if you get your monthly subscription and you get the golden ticket in there be listening for your number to get called out and you win all kind of prizes and stuff so that's cool and then of course our information booklet that gives us all the goodies on these lures this one doesn't have a whole lot of information it does have some stuff in here so let's just jump right into this. First thing, I'm going to pull this out. I don't even know what it's on here. It's a, a face shield or a, a buff is what people call them, I think. Net garters, they, they have so many names. There it is. think yep this is the one with the clown face this is a exclusive monster bass design you can pick these up on their website that looks creepy really creepy but you get that for monster bass so that's cool uh let's see i think i'm gonna start out with this one right here so we have the Lunker Hunt Slash 12S. This is a jerk bait. It is a suspending jerk bait. Uh, 5 8 is the weight. Comes in at 4.3 inches. This one dives down 12 feet deep. You can see by that lip on that jerk bait there that it gets down pretty deep. And it's a perch color. Uh, Trying to see if that's what it's actually. It doesn't have a color, but it looks more like a perch. Uh, typical jerkbait fishing. You want to cast it out there, get it out pretty far. Uh, probably want to reel it down a little bit and then start jerking in a downward motion. Uh, right now, with the water being cold, you probably want some kind of a slow cadence. Again, you're trying to mimic a dying bait fish. So you don't want to get out there and just start jerking that thing real crazy like but make sure you got a good steady cadence but put a little bit longer pause in between your jerks than what you normally would do during the springtime when you're fishing with a jerk bait. Uh, I don't have prices on these. I know normally the Monster Bass has the prices for their items but this doesn't have the prices but you can go to Lunker Hunt dot com I believe let me try to find that for you I believe it is lunkerhunt.com and you can find all these lures or go check out tacklewarehouse.com and I'm sure you can find all the lunker hunt lures on there to get your price checks on these but there's one okay next up we have the lunker hunt thump impact series uh, spinner bait white and chartreuse so that's going to mimic, mimic a shad it has the double colorado blades uh, the colorado blades are good for putting off a lot of vibration the uh, willow leaf blades are the ones that are a little bit more uh pointed and they're good for more of a faster retrieve plus they put off a lot more flash uh, 
the Colorado Blades, they put off some flash, but they're, they, they create a lot more of a thump. And that's good for that vibration. So I would throw this in uh, dirty water, you know, that way that vibration. Again, you don't want to fish it too fast. Remember, you're, you're mimicking dying bait fish. So slow it down a little bit. Maybe even try the uh, yo-yo technique where you lift up on your rod. And as your bait's falling back down, you lower that rod down, reel up your slack. And lift it up again so that way the lure is having more of this effect instead of just a straight retrieve uh, the dimensions on this this is a 3 8 ounce spinnerbait and I guess this one is called electric it's the color but this one would be a really good one to throw like I said dirty stain to dirty water uh, again slow it down on your retrieve uh, next we got this little guy. It's called the Lunker Hunt Big Eye Tail Spin. Right there. Uh, this is a 3 8 ounce. Uh, this thing seems kind of light to me. The color is a fluorescent pink glow. Uh, it's got the small Colorado blade. So again, a little bit of flash. A whole lot of thump. I would probably throw this on a spinning setup. And I, I don't have a lot of experience with these kind of lures. So I would probably say, again, on a spinning setup. Uh, and probably, you know, very, very your retrieves. Experiment with it. You might be able to do just a straight retrieve. Uh, maybe even the yo-yo effect. Definitely would throw this in stain to dirty water because of that color. Something a little bit brighter that's going to attract some attention. But that's lure number three. Number four, um, I love throwing swim baits. And so we have this one here, the Lunker Hunt Bait Shifter. It's a shad, four inch, three eight ounce. And it comes with this, this jig head. The, the jig head here is three eight ounce, four aught hook. And um, you would rig this up like you do any other uh, swim bait that you're throwing. trying to see I thought I saw a cavity where the hook would come out at but just run it through the front or actually you know what Hang on. nope I was wrong people I was wrong so here's how you rig this give me just a second okay so you take your jig head here I would probably wet this you know just stick it in your mouth get it wet there is a hole. I'm going to stand over here to the side of the camera. There is a hole. Here, I'll use this. Right here. See that? There's a hole right there. There's a cavity already. And then there is a hole right here where that hook point is at. You would actually take this and run this jig head into the bait like this. I hope I'm doing this right. No, I don't think that's right. Hang on. Let me start that over. Okay, I'm assuming you would come in this way. And, well. Yep, because once I punched in there, there's a cavity in there. Okay, there is a cavity in there. I could feel it as I was running that through. So I'm not sure if you need to come in this way and then work your way through, but I don't think that is correct. So I think what you'd want to do is take your hook point, go through this cavity. Once you poke in there, you'll feel the cavity. You can squeeze it and feel it and run that hook to where the eye on your jig head is poking out of that cavity and then your hook will come out of that point and then you would fish this like you fish any normal swim bait whether you do a straight retrieve or you know pause it a little bit but that actually looks pretty cool I have to see what other colors they got from this but that one looks pretty cool okay then you have some Lunker Hunt uh, just your Lunker Hunt stick baits, 10 pack, 5 inch. 
And of course, you fish these any way you do any of your stick baits. Uh, Texas rig, Carolina rig. Probably do them on a shaky head or something. You know, any way that you like to fish your stick baits, wacky rig, whatever. And these are black and blue. Cannot go wrong with black and blue as a color. And then they have a Lunker Hunt finesse worm, uh, pre-rigged. Comes in a with a quarter ounce head. Already has a quarter ounce net head on it with a weed guard. So you would fish this like you would do your normal, you know, traditional Ned rig fishing. Um, trying to put these back in here nice and neat without messing up anything. Now it comes with a Ned head, but you can use your own favorite Ned head if you like. Three inches is the size, quarter ounce in the, the Ned head. And the color on that looks like a green pumpkin. Yes, sir. Green pumpkin. You cannot go wrong with green pumpkin. Now, here's the crazy spin. Here's the other lure that I got. It is one of the Lunker Hunt Yappa Rats. The Yappa is one of their line of baits that uh, it's got the hooks just like on a frog. My wife saw me doing this, she would freak out. But it has the little tail, just like on a frog. Real soft. But it has this funny little cup here on the front. And that's to catch water and to give it its action. So, just throw it out and reel it back in. Just like you would a frog. So, that is pretty cool. I've actually got a couple other of these uh, Yappa baits from Lunker Hunt and some of the previous boxes. I just haven't really got a chance to fish them. Uh, this comes in at 3 fourth ounce, 3 quarter ounce. 2.75 in the inch. So, that was all we had for this month's Monster Bass. Like I said, Lunker Hunt just kind of took over and so that's what we got. So, until the next time, uh, next month, cannot wait for that lunker, for, actually I don't know if it's lunker hunt, I don't know why I was about to say lunker hunt, cannot wait for next month's Monster Bass box, uh, again, thank you for subscribing, make sure you jump over, check out the Monster Bass channel for all the great information, tips, tricks, and whatever on there, and keep coming back to my channel, because I've got all kind of stuff that I like to put out, and things that I like to do, so, till the next time. Again, thanks for subscribing. Make sure you smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the great outdoors.